The conservation of Soko Springs through the construction of ghetto traps in Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro World Heritage Site. Soko Spring is located on the dry plains of Mount Kilimanjaro. The project to conserve the spring started in the year 2007 with the support of GEF Small Grants Program and a Compact Project. The project aimed to support pastoralists in five villages to conserve the spring which has been destroyed by kettles in the cause of drinking water. The project has been implemented in partnership with Bangani Basin Water Office, communities around the water spring and Pamoja Trust. Soko Springs covers 500 square meters. Its water is used for domestic activities, irrigation, and feeding Nyumbayamungu Dam, which produces over 50% of electricity in northern Tanzania. The main vegetation in the spring is the papyrus plant, which harbors a variety of birds, fish, and frogs. This picture shows the extent of destruction of vegetation by cattle. This situation is associated with lack of conservation management among pastoralists and villagers around the spring. At the end of this project, three traps will be constructed to support over 5,000 kettles. Land degradation is a result of overstocking by the pastoralists. Over 200 kettles are brought to the spring almost every hour. Cattle also spend some time grazing at this area, thus continuous trampling makes the soil loose, making the area prone to soil erosion by wind and surface runoff. One pastoralist owns up to 100 kettles. This is the situation around the Soko Spring during the dry season. Soil erosion by wind becomes a major problem. No vegetation survives at this time. Cattle suffer from shortage of pastures and the community suffers water shortage. The biodiversity of this area, both flora and fauna, is affected by the cattle trampling right into the spring. The water becomes turbid for survival of fish, the papyrus plants are uprooted, and the bird nets are destroyed. Yet again, the water becomes unsuitable for domestic use. To solve the problem of Soko Spring, the community representatives from the five villages around the spring took the initiative to organize a series of meetings and to establish an organization of the pastoralists. In the meetings, they also concluded to construct cattle troughs as a way to protect the spring. The construction of the trough will be supervised by the Pastorist Association. They will also plant trees on the degraded area around the spring. The construction of the trough was done in partnership with the Pangani Basin Office, who provided the technical skill, and the local community who provided manpower and some of the construction materials. The community provided stones and poles. The construction process of the three trucks took about one year to completion. During the construction, the community participated fully, both men and women. The community around the Soko Spring planted trees on the degraded area under the supervision from the Pastoralist Association. The association also set by laws to protect the trees. The trees were planted during rainy season, which lasts for at least three months to increase the tree's survival rate. Most of the trees planted are indigenous to the area. The team from UNDP consists of Deputy Country Director in charge of the program, Ms. Louise Chamberlain, staff from Pangani Basin Office, and the community representatives visited the project few months before its completion. 
This visit encouraged pastoralists to join the Pastoralist Association for the conservation of Soko Spring biodiversity and protection of water for their well-being. This is one of the completed keto trough. It has a capacity of accommodating 100 keto to drink water at one round. The trough will receive water from the spring by gravity. The troughs are located at least 200 meters down from the spring. To use the troughs, pastoralists will contribute some money to the association for operation and maintenance of the trough. Finally, Soko Springs looks brilliant. The water is clean and safe for domestic use. Various training programs to the community have empowered them to protect water sources and conserve biodiversity. Through the project, the environment around the spring has been regenerated and the community will be improved. One day, the Soko Spring will be the site of biodiversity attraction. <laughs>